Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to go over how to share your library with others. If you're a Plex Pass user, you can share the account with other users, although if you're a Plex Free user or you're a Plex Pass user that doesn't want other people under your account, you can also share it with other accounts too. So the other accounts will get your library as if it's you that made it, it looks no different to your library. So first of all, they need to have a Plex account, obviously, so that they can share the content with you. That is, if you're not going to be sharing it under your account, that I'm going to be showing how to do later. The person that's going to be using your Plex library doesn't need to have anything under their account. They don't even have to be a Plex Pass user. They could be a Plex Free user, and they can view all of your movies or TV shows or whatever you've got in your libraries for free. So to get started, you can go to the three dots next to whatever library you want to share, and then go to Share. So under here, you want to put what their username is. So I'm going to do my test account. There's nothing under this account, so don't bother trying to get into it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to type that in. I'm going to do next. And as you can see under here, you can see all of your servers and you can see what libraries are under those servers. So for example, if I only wanted to share films with them, I could only do films or I could do films and TV shows or all libraries if there's loads of libraries and you want to share it all so yeah whatever you share is really up to you so i'm just going to do films for example under restrictions the only thing you're going to see if you're a plex free user is allow channels that's all that it allows and that's basically to allow this stuff under here the different channels that you can add to plex so allow sync is going to allow them to download the film to their phone or download it to their computer or whatever they like Allow camera upload is going to let them upload their camera roll to your Plex server. And under here, you can say what film ratings you want this user to be able to see. So, for example, if there's an 18 movie, they're not going to be able to see it if you've only got these options selected. Um, you could put a label under here. So, for example, if you say Disney films, then it will only show them Disney films. Um, that's obviously if you've labeled all of the Disney films as Disney. You do have to make these labels, so it's whatever labels you, you said, you can call it whatever you want. Just make sure the label under here is the same as the label, I'll just show you, that you put under sharing right here. So, for example, if I put Disney under here, then it would only show this film. And then under TV shows, it's a similar sort of thing. If you haven't got anything under here, it just allows everything, so allow all labels, allow all ratings. And... Exactly the same thing for albums. And then you can click invite and it will send them off an invite, which they can then accept. And then they'll be able to see the library exactly like this. So to kind of give you an example of what it looks like when you're, you're seeing somebody else's library, I hope my friend doesn't mind this, but um, this is my friend's library and he shared it with me. And yeah, it looks just like any other library. It looks like I could have made this. It looks exactly the same as my library, if I go back to the server, yep, yeah, exactly the same here. And yeah, as you saw, it just shows up as a, as a separate server here, so it's in the same area as if you were to make another server. For example, I've got these two servers. I run both of these, um, my friend runs this one. So yeah, that's as easy as it is. If you want to do multiple users under the same account though, you can go to users here. And bear in mind, you do have to have a Plex Pass to do this. You can go to Add User, and you can either add a, an existing Plex user, or you can create a managed user, which is what you want to do if you want it to be into the same account. So you can just give them a name. So I'll just do test, whatever. And it's exactly the same thing. You choose what servers you want them to see. You do Add. And yep, yeah, they'll be added as an extra user and you'll be able to share whatever your libraries you want with them. So I actually didn't end up sharing anything with this person pretty much. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want to delete them, you can delete them like that. And then when you want to select user, okay. And then when you want to go and switch user, you can go to switch user here and you can choose whichever user you want. So this is basically, you can choose whatever user you want. So you click that. And each different user is going to be able to resume the films that they're watching. Um, so, for example, if somebody started watching um, Sing on their account, then nobody else is going to see that progress. Nobody else is going to um, see the video show up at the top here to resume watching it. 
if you've watched the TV show, um, yeah, only they'll see what season they got up to or what episode they got up to or something like that. And also you can restrict based on the different users too. So, for example, if it's a child, you're not going to be showing them R-rated movies, that sort of thing. And yeah, that's about it. That's how you share libraries within Plex. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below if you're enjoying this Plex series. And be sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one, as well as um, whatever other tech videos I'm going to be putting out in the future. I'm definitely going to be putting out more Plex tech videos, but I'm not sure what else I'm going to be doing yet. Um, that's if I am doing other ones. But anyway, stay tuned for more Plex tutorials. I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.